Hello and welcome. I am Serdar and I am an AWS and DevOps instructor at Clarisway. In this video series, we will focus on AWS IAM service, which is short for Identity and Access Management Service, and I am going to show you how to create a user, policy, group, and role respectively through the IAM console. Let's assume that we have a training company which is organized in groups of admins, instructors, and mentors as shown on the screen to enable company employees to access AWS resources with appropriate authorizations, we need to create users, groups, policies, and set permissions accordingly. We have three members of admins group and we have five members of instructors and mentors group. In this session, we will learn how to create and empower the user with IAM policy. Let's we start. First of all, we need to log into the AWS management console open the service tab from the top of the page or uh, click the IM or you can write IM here on the search box and click the IM and click users to create a user click add user yeah as for our case each IAM user represents a single employee within the company. And as an example, I'll create a user account for Mary, who will be placed in admin groups eventually, but we haven't decided her group yet. I'll type here Mary. You can type whatever you want. Yeah. In this part, AWS offers us two options as access type for the user, programmatic access and AWS management console access. Here we deter determine how the user can access AWS resources. Management console access is mandatory and the user can log into AWS management console through the web browser. The user can access the console with his or her username and password. If the user needs to use AWS CLI, SDK or AWS API, we should also select programmatic access then AWS will create the key and secret for the user at the end. And I click, click the programmatic access and AWS management console access. Yeah. When you select AWS management console access, two more options will appear about generating passwords. We can either select an auto generated password or create a custom one for the user. I keep it as is. And uh, as the last step here, we need to decide whether the user should change his password during for, uh, first uh, sign-in. I strongly recommend that the user should determine his or her password when first you log in. And click Next Permission. And we haven't talk about, talked about uh, I am policies yet, but suffice it to say I am policy when attached to a user or a group allows us to set specific permissions on particular AWS resources for that group, user or group. Keeping that in mind, AWS offers us three options to grant permissions during user creation. First one is add user to a group. After adding a group user, after adding a user to a group, the user will be granted with permissions of the group automatically, so that they will be empowered with the group privileges. Or, as a second option, you can choose to copy permissions from the existing users, so that privileges of an existing user will be transferred to the new user. Last option is to attach existing policies directly using the policy list here. We can assign one or more of the policies available in AWS to the new user. We can also create our own policy clicking with create policy. And I'm gonna give power user policy, power user access here and click the power user access then click next tags yeah tags lets us uh, categorize our aws resources in various ways 
using text, we can understand what this resource or user is about and manage them easily when needed. As an example, let's create a tag for this user department AWS and click next review. Yeah, please review your user using this web page and click create user. Everything is fine, yeah. Finally, our user has been created and we are given a link for AWS management console. In addition, user credentials are created by AWS here. If you pass this console website address to your user, she can reach a console and using his or her credentials, she can reach the management console or he can reach the management console. And uh, in addition, user credentials are created by AWS. At this point, our new user can log into the console by providing credentials. It is useful to save this information elsewhere or to download it by clicking download.csv file. Because this information appears here once and we cannot reach this information through the console again. However, if you want, we can recreate these keys later. Let's we log in uh, to the, our AWS management console with newly created uh, user Mary. Uh, pass the website address that uh, it was given uh, by AWS at the end of the creation of user and uh, please uh, click enter and uh, here we are we write Mary and pass the password here and click the sign in button and uh, it asks you to create your own password and I pass the old password here and I I write my new password and click the confirm password change. Yeah, here we are. Our newly created user Mary's account. Thank you for uh, joining us. See you later. See you next video, guys.